Welcome back to my channel artists. Today we'll be drawing word portraits. Step number one, paint a background. So on a sheet of paper, I did a half size sheet. Um, you can just paint colors or feelings that represent you. In this artwork, I went ahead and drew some shapes and painted them really bold colors, but you will notice that it's a little bit hard to see my um, finished picture at the very end. So if you want a more obvious picture at the end, you might not want to do such bold color differences like I have done like that stripe across you might just want to let your colors blend and mix however you feel the important thing to remember is that this artwork is about you so you want to make sure that the colors that you pick the style that you pick reflects something about how you who you are how you are feeling um, and to describe that for the people that are looking at your image Step number two, trace portrait lines. Take a photograph of yourself that's the same size as the paper that um, you painted, and you wanna have a photograph of yourself, and you're gonna trace around the most important lines in the picture. It's gonna feel a little bit silly. My picture ended up being kind of angled looking and makes me look a little angrier or, um, than I actually probably do in real life. It, in the finished project it totally goes away it's a much softer feel so don't stress out if you're like oh um i, I kind of look a little funny well that's normal again in the finished artwork it has like a, a so definitely a much softer approach i do not recommend tracing teeth tracing teeth just always ends up with funny looking lines that you do not want step number three add words on a clear page for this, I got a clear sheet of transparency film and cut it to the right, the same size as my photograph. And then you are going to write words over top of the lines that you traced. It's a good idea before this step in your sketchbook, write about yourself, write words and phrases, sentences to describe yourself. For example, I am strong, I am beautiful, my name is Leah, I am a teacher, I am quiet, I am an athlete, I have a large family, I was born in Indiana. All kinds of different things that you could say about yourself. You wanna write some of the sentences out ahead of time so that you don't have to make them up as you're working. If you notice too, I also taped this clear page to my photograph so that it wouldn't slide around as I worked. Because it is taped, you can actually lift up your transparency and see what it looks like. Once you have added enough words that it looks like you, you are ready for step four, taping your pages together. So the first part for this, my painting ended up being a little bit larger than my clear film. So I went ahead and cut and trimmed it to make it the same size. And then I'm gonna tape everything together. I grabbed a piece of black mat board to mount everything on. And then I'm gonna put my, on top of my mat board will be my painting. And on top of that, my clear film so that it looks completely finished. Once you put your clear film on top, if you do not like it, if you want it to be a little bit more bold, go ahead and use a thicker marker. I hope you have enjoyed making art with us today. What will you create? 